Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central offers complete interruptibility with the familiar office tools you use today. Here we are working inside Outlook and we have an email from a vendor. Because the system recognizes that the contact is attached to a vendor, it's automatically displaying in the right hand page here information on that particular vendor. Information like how much I owe them. Any of the items in blue, I can drill down to see more information. So I can actually open up and see a list of outstanding invoices. And here we see we're late in our payment. And that's the reason this is showing up in red. As we drill further down, we have access to vendor history or open items. So I may have open blanket orders. Uh, I can drill down and see those, those particular orders. I may have receipts that haven't been uh, paid yet. So I have complete access to all that information. So if I'm communicating by email and there are inquiries with a vendor, uh, I have the information I need to answer that email directly from here. I don't have to exit Outlook, go into my ERP system, look up the information to answer a question. I can also transact from here. So I could create a new purchase order directly within this screen without having to leave Outlook. In this case, the vendor has sent us an invoice for a shipment that is due. I'm not interested in keying in that invoice in my system. So we also have the ability to work with an OCR service. Out of the box, we can connect to that OCR service. And from here, I could simply send that document to the OCR. It's going to send it out uh, to the service. It's a cloud-based service. It's going to scan it. It's going to return uh, the results. It's going to automatically create the purchase invoice. In other words, key it in for me. So we can leverage cloud tools in Business Central to increase our users' productivity. I have a second example here of a request for a quotation from a particular customer. So the customer is asked if we can provide a quote for their new conference room. So in this context, we sell office furniture. And they've said they've got a new conference room. They'd like a quote for seven London chairs and two conference tables. So without leaving Outlook, I could simply tell the system I'd like to create that quote for them. I select new quote and the first thing the system is going to do is it's going to try and determine the items for me and the quantities. So you'll notice in the email I wasn't very consistent. I would like seven and I spelled it out, London chairs and two and I put I use the number in this case, conference tables. In both cases it's accurately determined the quantity of each item and it's accurately determined the item. Now I just need to indicate that I want to include both those items in the quote. I'll select OK. And the system has gone ahead and created the quotation. I can see the details of the customers, the amounts, the amounts of the taxes, because I've previously defined my pricing for this particular customer or for the system. I can see the amounts, the unit of measure, all the information is accurate. I now would like to send them that quotation. If I drill down here, I see one of the choices I have is send by email. I'll select that option and it's going to go ahead and create an email for me and attach the quotation as a PDF document. And in addition, we can set up templates for the different types of documents and what we want to include in that email. So you see here, it's automatically, uh, you know, this is the customer name in our, in our particular case, said, you know, thanks for your business. The quote is attached. It's put some basic details here. If we drill in to see the PDF that's attached, we can see the detailed line item information, and again, all the pricing quantity, the customer address, the ship to address, all of that information. And again, this is just a template. Uh, it's actually a word template, so it's very easy to modify. Finally, we'll close that back down and we will send our email out. So that was a short over overview of how the interoperability with the Office tools, in this particular case, Outlook can help your organization stay more productive and simplify work.